All right, I've just had a bunch more thoughts about these AI writing tools like Lex, but there are tons of these that use the GPT-3 language model to produce human-like text. Now, the attraction to these writing tools, as I demonstrated in my initial post where I was just gushing over it because I couldn't believe how good the suggestions were, you know, the advantages for copywriters and people writing for corporate blogs and people writing for their own newsletters and people who are journalists, it's clear. The benefit is clear. How to get your podcast on Spotify. If you're writing about something like this, the simplicity of not having to look at a blank page, but having the language model, the AI suggest content like this, like it's it just wrote a big chunk of this blog post for me. The advantage is clear. But if we zoom out and we start thinking about the knock-on effects of all this, there's some interesting questions we haven't explored yet. One is this. Flo says, GPT-3 has already replaced much of my Google usage and almost all my Wikipedia usage. So they are asking this AI questions like why did the cia orchestrate a coup in iran and getting answers getting answers that they would normally go to google for there are so many questions about this why did this answer get suggested how was that seeded in the language model and if this does become a trend if people start skipping google and skipping Wikipedia and are instead asking AIs for answers. What gets suggested as an answer is going to become crucially important. For example, I'm the co-founder of this podcast hosting company. And so I was interested, what would they suggest for best podcast hosting? I just typed in the title and then I asked it to suggest something and it suggested three of my competitors. Well, what are the knock-on effects of that, number one? Number two, how did these three get in, get in there? Why were they suggested over anybody else? And if you think about this, <laughs> really, we're using tools like Lex to rank in Google search results for terms like best podcast hosting. Right? That's why we're writing articles on our company blog. We, we're trying to rank in Google so that people come to our website, so that we can earn people's trust, so that they might eventually try our products. Or in the case of you know, my blog, you know, I have something to say, I have a point to make, etc. But all of this content, whether you're a journalist, whether you're just a hobbyist blogger, or whether you're a company, Right now, people are going to Google to get that information. But if people are skipping Google, if people are skipping Wikipedia, if people are skipping even reading content on social media, but we're using these tools to rank on Google and to rank higher on social media feeds with our content, what's the point? <laughs> If in the end, people might just bypass traditional content altogether, like company blogs and company websites and individual blogs and, you know, sites like The Verge and The New York Times, if they skip all of those and they just ask the AIs directly, well, I guess it won't matter whether we're writing more content or better content or content faster at all. But then the secondary question is, what gets suggested? And in this case, this is pretty, I mean, the stakes are pretty low. It just suggested three of my competitors as a small business. I, you know, I, I wish, I, I'm wondering how, like, am I going to have to hire in the same way that we used to hire SEO consultants? Now we're going to have to hire AI uh, language modeling consultants to get our companies suggested inside of these tools. But there's even bigger stakes, which is if you're Iran or you're Russia or you're all sorts of foreign actors, um, 
you're probably thinking, how can I get our propaganda or our version of events to be suggested in these language models? So where is this all leading? I don't know. It feels like there is, there's a whole iceberg underneath the surface with this AI language stuff that we haven't quite considered yet. Curious to know what you think.